Is it on? Can you see me? Mm -hmm. What's up YouTube? Posey Force here with teammate Eric Douse from Team Astral Phoenix. We were just playing laser tag and we are sweaty. But we're here for pick one pack one. Sorry it's a week late. Uh, had some technical difficulties with the last pack and so that episode just didn't happen. So this is our episode 9. We're going to open this up. See what we get and figure out what we would draft first. Anybody want to touch that? No, you're good. All right. Code card, gone. Dragon Mercenary, Stratostart, Stockade Virus, Hunter Velossum, Venomancer, Pouncing Crickant, Horrific Tick, Mega Cannon Renegade, Skybound Keeper, Temporal Tinkering, Soul Star Commanders are rare, Aqua Inquisitor, and Sunstorm Dreadnought. Oh, I missed a card. And Flame Augur. All right. So, hmm. First pack is usually when you pick your bombs, right? Yes. So that means this is a no. Well, let's separate what we would consider bombs from not bombs. All three of the evolutions that are double breakers are bombs. Could be considered bombs. Soul Star, if you draft a, a certain type yeah. of. The scary yeah, thing about drafting dual sieves at the start is then you're automatically committing to two colors at the That's gate. That's true. But still, I'm just. And you don't, yeah. For now, pull them out. Uh, for creature bombs, right here. For Secondary option would be flame powerful on. shield blasts. Um, that's kind of the only. Sh I mean, we have pouncing cricket, which is a possibility, but I don't. Well, it wouldn't be my pick one. It wouldn't be a pick one. A, lay a second, third, fourth pick, maybe if you're running the colors, but. Okay. Uh, so we can remove things like stockade buyer, strata start, dragon mercenary, venomancer, venomancer, hunter blossom, pouncing cricket, perfect tick. To be fair, venomancer that did save my butt one of the games. Blockers are worth keeping. So, draw yeah. power and blockers are kind of like a potential option. So, if we did not have a bomb in the pack, these would probably be picks. Oh, yeah. Potential I, picks. But since we have these five cards to pick from, we're not really going to yeah. start with these. So, um, we get to... It's a potential draw option, blocker. Oh, yeah. This is actually most definitely a draw option. Say, you remember how I draft. I pick lots, lots of blockers and draw power. Lots so, Mega bombs. Cannon Renegade? Probably the worst of the, th uh, the four bombs. You only get one unleash. Sure, it's a three drop, but still, I'd rather just commit one more mana. And it's only a double breaker while when it's unleashed. Yeah. So it only gets to double break once, and then it's just a three for four. But it is a three for seven if you unleash. So yeah. while it's good, it's not first pick. It's extremely situational. It's not first picks when it comes to the rest of the board. If you. Flame Augur, I don't like the discard because maintaining a hand is a lot harder because there's a lot less draw. So while it's a good as a shield blast, it is not a pick one. Stred Again, Sunstorm Dead Knot. If you decide to go into white, good card. Yeah. Aqua Both of these would probably be our best picks. Yeah. I like Soul Star Commander as a card, but at the same time, it's not the greatest thing. You're automatically committing to red white, and what if red And you're also kind of making the commitment to rush. Yeah. So let's back that up. Aqua Inquisitor is good if you want the draw power. He's the same size as Sun's. Uh, it's draw power, which is really significant, but he's also a little bit, a little bit more expensive than Sunstorm Dreadnought, who's the same. Cost. Power, same same power, not the same cost. He's cheaper same, with the same sorry, power. I'm, Plus, same, same power. This basically it depends on how you want to play. I mean, we also saw a Skybound Keeper, but that's not going to come back to us. Let's be honest here. Even probably if, not. Unless it's a small draft, don't expect Skybound to come back to you. Sunstorm Dreadnought. If you're going for the rush tactic, I'd recommend that. And Quick Desider, if you're going for more mid rangey or if you just like to draw a blocker strategy, I'd say go with that. It gives you a card, replaces itself. Plus, you just get a little more value out of it. Both of these are good options, and really, for me, it's a hard pick. Like I said, if you're going for the aggressive options, Sunstorm, I'd go with that. If you're going with the more mid rangey bluish tap. Now, here's the funny thing, though. Um, go sun we could go Sunstorm, and then, depending on everyone else's packs, Soul Star Commander might actually make it back around. And then we could actually commit to like a you red could, white rush option. You could do that. I mean, the big issue with doing that is you're hoping Soul Star comes back at that yeah. point. Even if you don't, though, like, he's a very valid option. Well, he is, but let's just ask this. If it's a four-man draft, I could say go with the risk on the Dreadnought. Even if nothing else, you could play a mid-range with it. In an eight-man draft, he probably would not come back around. Say, but anything over six men, I don't expect the Soul Star to come yeah. back. Especially because There's we have, a lot of crap in this pack. We have some people like the cameraman here who really likes the aggressive option. Thanks to Taylor for cameramanning this for us. My tripod, tripod is broken, guys. Okay, thanks, Taylor. There you go. If you're going for a more aggressive option, Dreadnought. If you're small man, maybe Dreadnought just for the added effect of Soul Star. Larger tournament. I. Yeah. If you're going for you the more mid rangey or just want to just get value back from the card itself, Aqua Inquisitor. It's really, in the end, it really comes down to how, I mean, draw is valuable, yes. 
how much do you value draw is really going to determine the pick. So I, yeah. I really can't pick here. These are both really good options. I value draw. I'll go with Aqua Quizzer. We saw that. Mm -hmm. I ran Sunstorm Dreadnought today, and he did work for me. But yeah. I see value in both cards. It would be a hard pick. It would be one. Of, it would be one of these two. It also comes to you know whoever you might you know that whoever. This one of these two, whichever you take, is not going to come back. To you. So it's uh, it all depends on. Hey, do you want to go another the more thing to or the more mid range? -y? Another thing to consider too is that light is ex both of these are extremely popular colors in draft because Actually, they got so many options. The big issue with this is Aqua Inquisitor. If you decide to go the blue route, your pack itself doesn't have that much blue, and they're not very good blue. Well, I mean, temporal tinkering is great in my opinion. It's but okay for draft at least. Yeah. Basically, it all comes down to hey. You certainly drafted a much better blue card than that today. I was that, what was it, Scrutinize? Uh, not Scrutinize, I also drafted the Mind one. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. The one that lets you draw four if you have an evolution play. Oh. He was really good. I can't think of the name right now, but I'm yeah, actually talking about it. Basically, it's how much you value draw power. If you value quite a bit, Aqua Inquisitor. If you're playing more for a blue-based deck, or you just like the fact that this opens up, that if you happen to pull something like Ice Belly Blowfish or something of that nature, this is the better one for you. If you're going for the more, I just want to beat your face, and I have bigger creatures, green, white, or something of that nature, or just green, red, or uh, green, red, white, red, just white, period. Or, or just mono white, anything beat white. I was running white, black today. Just if you want to go the beat down route, Sunstorm would be better. So that, that's that's our pick, guys. One of these two. It's really a close pick for me. I really can't decide right now. I could probably, if this was like a legitimate draft, that this would be, I'd be the guy who's got a train behind him who can't decide. Just like, in this I would, case. In my opinion, it would, it, well, in my case, I would just grab the Inquisitor. That was my draft. Or, that was my first draft in a pack that was kind of close to this. Not yeah. quite this. It had a little more green to it. You heard my opinion. But I think that's it for this episode, guys. So it's going to be one of these two. Kind of leaning Inquisitor, but since Storm Dreadnought's definitely a solid choice. So, um, again, sorry that there was no episode last week. Um, so we're going to start doing this in seasons. This is season one. And when Vortex comes out, we will be doing season two of Pick One Pack One. And kind of just do that with every major set release. So, stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe. And as always, guys, Koji Force here. Uh, Eric Downs here. And we will see you later. Yeah.